What is up guys, Doc Redstone here with a video tutorial for you guys today. Um, for my thousand subscribers I did a uh, scrolling marquee board and uh, I wasn't able to really get any help with that. I had to figure it out on my own um, which is actually a pain in the butt for me because I suck at decoders and piston displays and whatnot. Um, but I did end up getting it figured out and there weren't too many tutorials out there on it so I figured I'd go ahead and make this one. So what you want to go ahead and do is start by making this, and I can't count and talk at the same time, 15 long. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, like so. Then what we want to do is we're going to need some sticky pistons. And every other block we want to break and place a sticky piston one behind the wall that we just built. And uh, this doesn't have to necessarily be 15 long, but it's best that it be an odd number so we can have blocks on both the end caps. Then what you want to go ahead and do is place blocks in front of all these pistons once again and build up one taller, like so, and place some blocks on your pistons. And then we want to do this five times in total. So this will be 10 tall. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, and uh, then I'll be right back. Okay, so if this was done correctly, you should go ahead and check on the side and make sure that you have five pistons tall, which indeed I do. And uh, there's an extra block on top, which will count as a frame as well. So basically this will be our display board. Then what we want to go ahead and do is come behind here and place a row of blocks like so. And we want to do this at the level of each piston um, output. So I'm just going ahead and starting and uh, go ahead and do this real quick. And then we'll be right back as well. Okay. So now we go ahead and you can see we have these blocks lined up with our piston layers. And then what we want to go ahead and do is we're going to start by placing dust, repeater, and set it to four ticks, dust, repeater, and dust. And you want to make sure that basically this dust lines up with each piston. And I'm going to go ahead and do that on all of this and once again I'll be right back. Alright, so once you have all that done, and as you can see, and it's all set to Vortex, you can go ahead and actually test it. And as you can see, I'll place this button here and press it. And as you can see, it kind of does a somewhat display. And you can actually lower these ticks, um, these repeaters, if you want it to scroll faster. Um, but I prefer this scrolling speed. So basically, what you want to go ahead now is build a decoder. And I am not going to go into too much detail as to what a decoder is and how it works, because I will butcher it. But I will indeed um, show you how to make um, the decoder for this, and we're going to make it say hi. So basically, um, this thing is five tall, which means each letter is going to have to be five tall. So um, the letter high, if you divide it up into five tall blocks, as you can see, like so, so the, or the letter H, I guess you can't say the letter high. So as you can see, 
five blocks. So this counts as one, two, three, four. So it's four wide. So what we want to go ahead and do is, so the letter I is four wide, and, or H, and one, two, three, four, five, four, five, okay. And the letter I is three wide. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by building these one apart. And so let's see, we need to make sure it's at least three spaces away. So like so. So one, two, three, four. That's for the letter H. One, two, three three for the letter I. And then we want to place blocks on top of all of these. And like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail on decoders because I am no expert on decoders or redstone displays. So then what we want to go ahead and do is make this 10 long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, like so. And this needs to be as long as this is tall, which is why I only made it 10. If I would have made this 3, this has to be 6, or 6 tall, this would have been had to be 6, etc, etc. Um, I wouldn't recommend making this any smaller than s um, 6 blocks tall, um, just for the sake of it being accurate. Um, so then what we want to go ahead and do is make them all 10 long. And this will make sense in a moment. Crap. Oh well. Alright. Alright. So all these are now 10 long. And I need to set that repeater back and break that blue block. Okay. So now all this is 10 long. And now what we want to go ahead and do is place our torches starting here and alternating every other block. And placing these torches is what will show up on this display. So by placing all five torches, all five of these pistons will push out, making of course the first part of the H. But for the middle part of the H, we actually only want two so that the H, because as you can see, the first part of an H is a whole line, but the next two are just two lines, and then the last will be another whole set of lines. So then we want to go ahead and once again place it every other block, like so. And so this, in a way, if I go ahead and fly up, you can see is kind of an H look. Um, then we're going to go ahead and do the I, and if we look at an I, like so. So as you can see on the first set we just have these top and bottom. So we're going to go over here and we have the top and the bottom. And for the middle we have them all so we're going to go ahead and place them all. And then once again on the last we have the top and the bottom. So top and the bottom. And as you can see that somewhat resembles an eye as well. Then what we want to go ahead and do is place redstone dust on top and this will make it so that um, these torches are by default off which is what we want. Also making this too tall can have its limitations as well. 10 is great because it does not exceed the redstone limit. However, once you make it 16 or taller, so if this were to be 18 tall, these blocks would be 18 and the redstone dust would not extend beyond 16 blocks and putting in a repeater there would actually complicate things. So unless you're a redstone pro, which I could not um, make this much taller than 16 blocks, I suggest that you stick to about 10 tall, which in reality isn't that small. Um, so then we have like that. Then what we want to go ahead and do is under each of these torches, we want to go ahead and add the dust, like so. And um, making your text too long as well can become difficult because then you have to add in repeaters. 
Um, and I don't, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, nope. This is actually perfect length because the repeater um, will not be need to be added in um, like right here or something and then you have to make sure you actually put repeaters here on all the places afterward. So um, try not to make it too long otherwise it gets quite difficult. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and place all this right here and I'll be right back. Okay, so in reality, it probably would have been simpler to place this before building the uh, decoder, but that's okay, no big deal. So now we have our decoder built. And what we want to go ahead and do now is connect this line to the bottom, this line to the middle, this line to, actually this line to the second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. Um, so basically, at the end of all of these, uh, right here, I'm going to go ahead and add a repeater to extend the pulse. And this will not complicate anything. Um, the only reason it would get complicated if, say, I needed to put a repeater right there. And then every, so this line right here would actually have to get a repeater right here. And that's how that would work. And as you can see, that would get complicated extremely quickly. So what we want to go ahead and do now is push this. And what we want to do is actually push the power in. So we want to put a repeater here. Then what we can do is see what color haven't I used. We'll use blue still. And we want to kind of ladder up to it like this. And as you can see, and then we'll place dust right here like so. And once again, repeater. And you need to make sure that all of these signals have the same delay. If I were to put this on four and leave the rest like so, it would actually get quite difficult um, because this row would lag behind and look horrid. So remember that as well. Oops, cut the block. All right. And placing this can get somewhat difficult, but not too difficult. So, you know, just kind of do it however. I'm sure you can make it a bit more compact. I just don't really care to. Um, and you also want to make sure that this is long enough. So as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we'll place the repeater there. And as you can see, that was 12. Um, so this next one um, may be too long. And um, I may have a difficult time um, getting it. Can't talk and build today. Um, difficult time getting it to be the right length hence why these repeaters were added here. They don't always have to be added there. I can add it here and that way later on I can make sure that they all have the same delay. So this does take some planning and thought. Uh, definitely one of my more um, advanced tutorials. So I don't suggest this if you're one of the newer people to Redstone because you will start hating it. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So as you can see, that's 16 blocks. That's 17, so as you, it's going to be too long. So we're going to place the repeater here, which will extend the pulse and make it perfect length. And here. And I'll go ahead and get this built real quick. And we want to make it one taller, like so. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place a repeater and finish by placing your redstone dust. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, another ten. So we should be pretty good. So now what we want to go ahead and do is, is we want to start building um, this part. So what we want to go ahead and do is place dust 
right here at all these locations and place dust here between them all then we want to go ahead actually I lied we'll place that there and you want to go ahead and place on, this at all these locations so it's too long and then we want to start by placing repeaters like so and we want to set all the repeaters to four ticks once again this will also affect the scroll display so this amount of ticks plus this amount of ticks is how fa or fast or slow it will scroll so right now it'll scroll eight ticks which is four fifths of a second um, so that you gotta keep that in mind as well now what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'll use the purple wool once again and we're gonna go ahead and build an AND gate like so um, and this is going to be a pulse shortener so we want to go ahead and just directly wire one this next one gets two repeaters set to full set to almost full like so and like this and then we can go ahead place our button and I don't think it's connected yet okay good so if we go ahead and press this as you can see that only flickers for about a second now you could use a monostable circuit for this however I haven't found a monostable circuit that will actually equate um, to the pulse this is giving this a button stays on for a whole t um, second which is I believe 10 ticks and this right here is four five six seven this is seven so this is giving getting a three tick pulse to this circuit um, which is very important and uh, so doing a monostable circuit you'd have to get it to give a three tick pulse and most monostable circuits give a two tick pulse so now we can go ahead and wire this directly up and if I go ahead and press the button the display should say hi which as you can see it does um, let's see if I can get a bit farther away there you go as you can see it says hi um, in my tutorial or my um, subscriber special I actually had um, repeaters here all set to four ticks and this actually allowed it to scroll a bit slower um, which I preferred because personally um, this is about 1.1.2 seconds um, and rather than four-fifths of a second um, so it should slow scroll a bit slower and because of the fact that my computer is a little laggy and fraps is open um, you can see the pistons behind it um, when it retracts that most of the time usually does not happen but on occasion it does so anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Once again, I did, do say this is one of my more advanced tutorials. So if you're a newbie, um, I wouldn't start by doing this. You will really learn to hate redstone quite quickly. So anyway guys, it's been Doc Redstone. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks guys, and peace out.